Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do a quick video on how am I going to do this distance test when it comes to repeaters, um, whether it's the handheld repeater setup or the uh, an actual GMRS uh, repeater base setup or even with handhelds. How am I going to do the distance test? Well, what I'm going to do and of course, this ain't going to be a hundred percent accurate. But what I'm going to do is, I have a uh, GPS in my car that I can get the uh, coordinates off of. So when I do this test, where I start to break up or where I don't have any um, communications at all to the repeater, I will look at my GPS in my car and I will get the coordinates the longitude and latitude and I'll write that down on the piece of paper and then I will continue on with my test in other directions and then once I get all that information gathered up I will come back home and then I will use Google Maps and if you did not know Google Maps does have a function where if you right click it you can measure a distance so uh, for an example let's say I was uh, uh, you know, starting at this uh, uh, quit, quit trip or something, I would uh, right click on that, uh, measure distance, and then I would, um, you know, go to where my coordinates ends up ends up being. I will mark that. Uh, see here how it tells you the coordinates, so I can figure out the coordinates, and then I can measure distance to here, and then that will tell me, as you can see here, and there's actually a box. Um, down below that tells you how many miles which is off screen right now or you can you can actually see here it also tells you in this number right here this 1.22 mile so when you right click you can you can get um, uh, you can uh, let me do this again let me go up here and then you can hit clear measurement so that's how I'm going to do this yes it may not be a hundred percent accurate but at least it'll give us an idea of what my distance is um, so you know that's how I'm going to do this as best as I can like I say I'll be you know, give or take a few feet um, but this is going to be done through you know there's going to be trees and hills and so you're going to get you know real good um, an idea on how a repeater works in an environment where um, it's a lot of terrain, you know, buildings, I'll be doing different antenna heights, different wattages, I'm going to rig up a tripod in my yard and then I'll just drive from there and um, like I said, um, there's a lot of trees where I live, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, bluffs, we call them bluffs, like hi big hills. Um, so that's how we're going to do this. And hopefully you'll get an idea what setup will work for your situation. Um, I know a lot of outdoor people, hunters and stuff, like to you know use two-way radio if they're in a valley where cell phones don't work. This might be a, a you know give you an idea how to set up a repeater quick for your hunting season. Um, you know outdoor type stuff uh, activities. But at any rate, that's how we're going to do that. Um, like I said, I'll get the coordinates right from the GPS itself. It's a Garmin. Uh, it's fairly accurate. It's a, a, a pretty new one, actually. Um, that's how I'll get my longitude and latitude um, readings from. And then I will uh, go to the computer, and I will do a video, and I will show you exactly. And then the video will also will have, you'll be able to hear how the repeater sounds. So I, I don't know if I'll do all of it in one video or if I'm going to do it in two separate videos. Like one video will be the actual um, audio video of how the repeater is sounding. And then maybe the next video, part, part two, would be what was the distance. I might do it like that. Um, part one will be the actual uh, driving around. Let's test this, see where we're at. And then part two will be the actual what was the distance from part one and that's when I can sit on the computer and do this. What I'm going to do to try to make this a little bit easier is I'm going to use a simplex um, I'll show you more once I get it set up 
since it's just me, I don't have another person to sit and key up the mic at the location um, where the repeater's at, because I would need two people, obviously, uh, one at the repeater location and then one driving. I'm going to use like a simplex type setup where it will record my voice and then it will play it back through the repeater and then you'll be able to hear exactly how it sounds and I'll, I'll bring a, a camera with to do this in the car so you can see and hear it yourself. Um, but that's how we're going to do this. So any questions or comments, please post down below and thank you and please subscribe.